So I've got the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro right here. This is also known as the Poco F2 Pro. And today I'm going to show you how to install Lineage OS 17.1 on this device. Now if you remember the video from yesterday I did that I showed you how to install the Lineage OS recovery. That's where we're going to pick up today. So to begin this tutorial, you need to have the bootloader unlocked. You need to be on version 12.0.4 of the global stable MIUI ROM. And you need to install the Lineage OS recovery that I showed you how to do in that last video. And if you're unfamiliar with how to do any of that, be sure to look in the video description as I'll be linking to those videos to help you get caught up with where we're going to be today. So right now we're going to boot the device over into recovery mode, which is going to be Lineage OS recovery. Again, if you do not have that install, installed already, be sure to flash that over with the fast boot program like I showed you before. We're just going to get into that by turning the device off and pressing and holding the power and the volume up buttons during boot. So now that we have booted into recovery, remember this is after we do the fast boot erase user data option and after we flash the recovery image, the Lineage OS recovery image, those need to be done in order to install Lineage OS 17.1 right now on the Poco F2 Pro. So now that you have this, we can then download the Lineage OS firmware file. It's going to be a zip file. I'm going to have that uh, download link in the video description. Once we are in the Lineage OS recovery, we are then told to format the data and cache with the recovery. So we're going to go ahead and tap on factory reset. Remember, we're going to format the data and the cache. So format data. And we're going to format cache. With that done, we can tap the back arrow to go back. So the next part is we need to go into ADB sideload mode on this device. So we're going to tap on the apply update button. And then we're going to tap the apply from ADB button. Once you see that ADB side load option right here, you should see the message down here at the bottom saying that the phone is now waiting to receive that file. So let's go ahead and send that with an ADB command. So here we have the Lineage OS zip file that I have downloaded. We can go ahead and rename this to something like los.zip so that typing out the command we're about to type out is easier and more universal. From here we need to copy or move this into the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. And after that is moved into that folder, we then need to open up either a terminal, a command prompt, or a Windows PowerShell within that same folder as both this Lineage OS zip firmware as well as our ADB and Fastboot tools. So right here we have the phone in ADB sideload mode. We type out the command ADB sideload space LOS dot zip. Then we go ahead and press enter on the keyboard. The amount of time it takes to send that zip file to the phone will likely vary. And you're going to notice the text at the bottom of your phone has changed from waiting for that file 
to now finding the app, the update package, opening the update package, and verifying the update package. So we're still letting that command prompt stay open while the file is being sent. You can see that it just completed that process. From here we can see that the phone went to install the update after it was verified. Then it patched the product image and patched the system image before succeeding. Now before we leave this update page, we now need to download our uh, Google Apps package if you want to use that. I'm going to be downloading a G Apps package, the ARM64 of Android 10, and I'll go with the Pico version. I'm not that big on installing the full version, but you can download and install whichever variant of the Google Apps package you want. Again, I'll be linking to this website in the video description. And you're also going to need to download, if you want root, we're going to need to download a uh, Magisk zip. I'm going to be downloading that directly from that project's GitHub page. And we're basically going to be doing the exact same to install it as we did with the firmware. We're going to sideload it with ADB, and we're going to uh, flash those zip files that way. So once you have those two zip files ready and downloaded on your PC, we're going to tap the apply from ADB option again and make sure that we are in that ADB sideload mode telling us to send that file. So here we have the two downloaded zip files that I mentioned. This part is completely optional. You don't have to use either of these on your install of Lineage OS at all. Um, but I choose to, so I'm going to rename the gapps package just gapps.zip. Again, you can rename it anything you want. You don't even have to rename it. You can type in the full uh, file name if you want. It's up to you. And I'm just going to rename that um, magisk file to regular magisk.zip. So that now, again, our phone is in ADB sideload mode. I can go ADB sideload gapps, press enter, and the same thing that happened before. It's going to send that file, and we're going to be told on the phone that it's opening that package, that it's verifying that package, and that it's installing that package. We're just going to simply wait right here since we're going to go ahead and sideload that Magisk file immediately after. The gapps script is just going through and installing those apps for us right now. And remember, it's going to send us right back to that apply from ADB page. So when that happens, when this is done, we need to tap the apply from ADB button again to send us into ADB sideload mode. And then we type out ADB sideload magisk and press enter. And as you can see here, I'm typing out the first few letters and then pressing tab to autocomplete. That's just um, how I do it. You don't have to do that. You can just type out the word magisk.zip and press enter. It's all the same. We just need these files and your command prompt to be in the same folder as your ADB and Fastboot tools. So here we have it. There was an issue with my download of Magisk. This may be, this may happen to you as well. I just want to let you know that I needed to tell this phone to install the zip file anyway, even though there was a signature verification issue. This might not happen with Magisk version 20. Um, I just know 21 is the latest version, so I went ahead and grabbed that one. 
but just a heads up in case you run across that as well. So once this is done, we can go ahead and tap the back button. It should send us back to the main menu of Lineage OS where we get a reboot system, apply update, factory reset in advance, and we're done. We just need to go ahead and tap on the reboot system now button. And it's going to boot us into Lineage OS version 17.1 on the Poco F2 Pro for the first time. As you might know, the first boot into a new operating system can take a little more time than normal, just like after doing a factory data reset. It can take a bit of time for the phone to set things up. I will say that this phone is a beast when it comes to the hardware. So as you can see, the process was fairly quick on a very slim down and lean operating system like Lineage OS. So I'm just going to go through this setup process real quick and show you at the main screen. So here we go, we've just booted into the operating system. And there you have it, that is how to install Lineage OS version 17.1 on the Poco F2 Pro as well as the Redmi K30 Pro.